Hi guys, so today we're going to be going over the steps involved in downloading and installing Visual Studio Code uh, and how to get everything set up correctly within the program for use within this course. Uh, so the first thing you're going to need to do if you don't already have this installed on your system is you're going to need to download the Java SE Java Development Kit. Um, I'll put a link to this uh, page in the description down below the video so that you can easily find it. Uh, but basically on this page it's going to have the most recent Java SE edition at the top. So I'm just going to click download here. Scroll down, you're just going to need to accept the license agreement. Uh, and then you just need to choose the correct download option for your system. Uh, for me it's going to be the Windows EXE file here. And this will just take a couple minutes to download, so we'll come back in a couple minutes. Okay, so once that file's all downloaded, we'll just go through the installation process, which is very simple. So next, that's fine. Um, and then it's very quick to install. And that's it. Um, so once we've done that, we can go ahead and um, download a VS Code. And I would recommend making sure you have this installed before you do the download and, and installation of VS Code. Uh, so now we'll go over here. Um, I'll put a link to this website as well down in the description below. Um, and once again, um, you just need to pick the correct installation for your system. I'm just going to click the download for Windows. And that should start downloading. There we go. Um, and once again, this is just going to take a couple minutes, so we'll come back in a couple minutes. Okay, so now that that is all downloaded, we can go ahead and go through the install process. And uh, this is very easy as well. So we'll just going to accept the agreement. Uh, you can change the destination if you like, but I'm going to leave it as is. Uh, that's fine, and you can leave this as is as well. Um, I'm just going to create a desktop icon and install, and this should be pretty quick to install. Yep, all good, and we'll go ahead and launch VS Code. And when you launch VS Code, the first thing you'll always see is the welcome page. Um, if you don't want to see this every time you open it up, you can always choose to, uh, you can always uncheck that option. Um, so the first thing we're going to want to do is install the following extensions. So if we go down to extensions here, uh, uh, you'll probably find it pretty easily. It's in my recommended, the Java extension pack, or if you don't see it, you can always just search Java extension pack and it's gonna come up and we'll click on that and you can see um, that the extension pack involves a number of different extensions that we're going to need within the course. Um, so we'll just click install and this will install very quickly. And that is all sorted. Now there are a couple more things that I would recommend doing uh, in order to complete your setup of uh, VS Code. Um, so the first thing is you may need to update settings.json to point to the home directory of your JDK. Um, in order to get everything in VS Code working. Um, so in order to do that, um, if you're in Windows, you're going to do Control Shift P. Um, it's going to bring up this right here. Um, and then we're going to type in settings.json. And I believe it is the top one here. Yes. Um, so the syntax for this, um, we're going to need to put a comma under here. Um, so just uh, below everything else that is uh, already within this settings.json, um, we're going to type in java.home. Um, and then what we're going to do is we're going to find the um, address within our system of uh, the JDK that we downloaded earlier. Um, so for me, it's here it is in program files java jdk um, so i'll just click copy address um, and then i'm just going to paste it 
in between quotation marks here and you're going to need to just double up on the backslashes here um, and then the red line should disappear and that's all good for that. And now the last thing that I would recommend doing, uh, so later on in the course um, we're going to be needing to do J unit testing um, and in order to get that working in VS Code it does require a little bit of setup. Um, so I'll just go back to Chrome here. Um, again, I'll put a link directly to the download for this so that you can just download the file um, underneath the video. Um, but basically what we're going to be downloading is a jar file. Um, and this is just going to, that's fine, this is just going to allow us to um, be able to do JUnit testing within VS Code. So once that's all downloaded, um, we're going to go back to the settings.json that we were in before. Uh, just put a comma next to what you did um, earlier and then just go directly underneath. Um, now I'm just going to uh, paste this in for the sake of brevity. Um, and I will put the syntax for this um, underneath the video in the description as well so that you can just copy paste it. Um, but the only thing you're going to need to change, this is the um, address where I've got that jaw file that I just downloaded. So you're just going to need to put the address of wherever the jaw file is stored in your uh, computer. Um, and once you've put this in, um, just make sure that we have saved it. Um, and then it's just going to ask us to restart it. We can do that. And now you should be all set up to start using VS Code in this course. Um, so I hope you found this video helpful and thank you for watching.